DSU, DSU. Oh, how I have confessions. Is it like, y'all ask me a question? What do well, I want to confess about? Hmm. So it's confession time. So shout out to uh, Laws Hall. We can say Laws Hall, I'm told. All right, <laughs> tell me, what is it? You can't curse and anything else? I don't know, I just feel SGA, I ain't gonna say no names. I mean, I got a couple of things to say about Dell State. What can I say? Um, ladies, you gotta be more, you gotta be a little low key now. Ladies, please, if you and your friend wanna talk to the same person, cut it out. We know you. I've been hearing a lot of things going on. Uh, people jumping from man to man, and if you got a plan, of playing me and my mans. Cut it out, we see you. You can't do that, you gotta be, stay under the radar. Jenkins, cut it out. Just cause y'all got them dorms doesn't mean anything. I know my mans know you and your girl and how y'all look. Have you ever been like the one friend who is the single one that's like, everyone else around you is cuffing whenever you want to go chill or something like that? That is me. That is that I'm that one friend that has to deal with all your friends cuffing. You want to go out at night and you want to go chill at night, go to grottos or walk to Wawa. You can't because, you know, all your friends, you go in their room and they are cuffing. And it's just like, it's really uncomfortable for you. I, I cannot stand that. I cannot stand being that one single friend. So I think I might just start um, an anti-cuff organization on campus. Because this, this is crazy. It is ridiculous how many cuffing couples there are on campus to make you feel uncomfortable on a daily basis. Shout out to the DJs that be crying on the low. We know who you are. It's okay. We respect that. I'm lying. We don't. Today, I would like to talk to y'all about some things that have been on my mind. First thing, I had no idea his titles meant that much importance. How is it possible that we go to an HBCU where everyone's supposed to be friendly and out there, but everyone is so city? Um, the freshmen on campus, please stop committing thottery. It's a lot of thottery going on right now. Um, you know, y'all don't gotta like show off your bodies or nothing like that just because y'all freshmen or try to get down with anybody with letters or somebody with a title, you know what I mean? Stay true to your authentic self. So. Like, I know people that really, last year, like, they just didn't pay any attention to really anybody. And it's crazy to think that there are people on our campus that are so superficial to think that if you don't have a title, that you don't matter. It's funny how people be like, I'm not gonna switch up when I get a title. They're the first ones to switch up when they get a title. See, I'm the college type, but I really have a problem with the college atmosphere. You know, it seems like everybody wants to get ahead when you come to college. And when you come to a campus, it really seems like everybody wants to be that guy or that girl. You know what I'm saying? And I really have a problem with that. I mean, everybody want, everybody can do their own thing, but at the end of the day, be yourself. I guess uh, my problem on this campus, probably just the people, a lot of people complain about how, how dry the school is, but they probably don't do anything to like fix it. They usually like to stay in their room on Friday nights, Saturday nights. Playing how Dover is like whack. I'm a junior my freshman year. We used to have so much fun. We used to make our own fun. I think um, DSU has a great environment campus wise. I just feel like it needs to be a lot more events on campus that's accessible to the students that people actually know about. Um, I just came in here to talk about Delaware State. How I think it's a great school and everything. Uh, I think I really did make the right choice and everything. So, um, Definitely encourage everybody to keep doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, first semester almost over, Thanksgiving break about to come up, thank God. Dell State, is, it is what you make it. If you know how to find the right people, you can have a lot of fun or try to meet some people that go to different schools, like Howard, Lincoln, Wesley, I heard Wesley is popping. Then on top of that, you have a lot of people that be like, I love my HBCU when it's popping. Why you don't love your HBCU when it's not popping? You came to school for education, right? So you have to make your own fun. But it's like on the weekends, everyone's trying to figure out what's the move, this and that. You have to make your own fun. Uh, but honestly, the state's all right. Um, I can't really complain about the school. Man, I got a problem with this financial aid. The school is kind of dry, but I feel like it's getting, I don't, actually, I don't even know if it's getting better. Every year, every year. It's always something like, like it take forever just to get your housing. Biggest, worst uh, thing to deal with is Wi-Fi and Evers. 
and uh, can't get my work done without the Wi-Fi. Take forever just to get your money right. You gotta um, set up a payment plan. Are you going? Are you going to get purged? Like it's crazy. I really don't understand it. Like what are they doing there? I really don't get it at all. The government this year is doing a good job. They did a good job at homecoming. Homecoming was great. I enjoyed the celebrities. When y'all when y'all gonna let me perform on on a big stage again in the EH? I'm really trying to do that again. Try and show what's going on with my mixtape and things like that. We just came from a party. Public safety had arrested a few of my peoples. We need public safety to fall back from me and my New York fellas. We are very innocent men, so we need y'all to leave us alone. All right? We need y'all to stop bothering us. DSU, I love DSU though because it's helping me network. It's helping me become who I'm becoming as a business person, as a student. So. The issue, I guess, is good. I don't know. I've been just trying to stay low key, basically. I've been working with the radio station and everything, just chilling, um, just doing me, being juice. You know what I mean? I must give you people fashion tips. But I'm gonna talk about the wellness, you know. Ladies, stop wearing leggings to every single event. You have to stop it. That is a no-no. All Star last year, you know. Get buckets as always. These poetic justice braids have faded out. None of you look like Janet Jackson. I don't like how people disrespect me this, this semester. You know, got kicked out there in the mirrors because of somebody want to fight. But I want to let everybody know I still get buckets. You can still you can check rock. Whatever you trying to do, just let me know. You know, from Philly. Men, stop wearing polo boots. You should never, ever do that. Ever. Uh, what can I say? Um, to the dude in, uh, what do you call it, in, uh, in, uh, the food place, stop making me sing. Stop it. Confessions, confessions. Nothing really to confess, but everybody have a nice Thanksgiving break, and I'll let y'all lead it. I don't know what else to say. That's just... Um... <laughs> I don't know. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really it. I think I'm done here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. We can't run that back at all. Yeah. Pretty much done. We're good? Cool. I'm done.